Cleveland's own Fox 8 News in the morning. Good morning, everybody. A Thursday morning of the city, 31st day of May, the last day of the month of May, June, just around the corner. Going to be a pretty decent day, 58 degrees your time right now at 8 o'clock in the morning. I want to thank you for joining us. My name is Wayne Dawson. And I'm Christy Capel. Even team lucky charm Nick Gilbert wasn't enough for the Cavaliers to snag the first pick in this year's NBA draft. Stacey Fry standing by live with the team's exciting options. Serious illness is hard enough for adults to understand, let alone explain to a child. The author of a leading book on helping children cope with illness is here with some practical advice based on years of experience. Just pouring drinks isn't their thing. We have a couple of the world's very best flair <laughs> bartenders in the house this morning. Uh, from fire to fountains. Wow. Gonna show off their skills and tell us about a great event as well. Impressive. They are very talented. They've been on before? Yes, they, they have. Because they remember you, so. And one of them is the son of uh, one of our technicians here, Steve ah, Golders. Ah, okay. And I, I knew him when he was like a kid, and now, now he's, he's a grown, grown man. Up and juggling alcohol. He's getting older, and I'm he's getting younger. That's, impressive. That's, yeah, he is. Uh, <laughs> All grown up. Let's check in with Angelica, see what's happening weather-wise. Hey, Angelica. Wow, is right. I think I just lost my eyebrows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're good. That was uh, so cool. Special thanks to the Flair bartenders, good. Rob Turek and Josh Golders, uh, in the house this morning. And we're going to see more of their tricks. <laughs> and we're going to talk to them about a, a big Cleveland event that's uh, going to take place in just a couple of minutes. So stick around for that. Um, yeah, very interesting. I know you've seen it before. Yeah, though, right? but I mean, it's. I haven't, so I'm like. Well, oh, yeah, but you know what? It's it's always interesting That's when you see amazing. it. It really is, and they they have it under control. Yes, our fire alarms have not gone off. So. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> only on Fox 8 News in the morning, folks. Do we have kids? Don't do that at home. No. Whatever you do, don't play with fire like that. Right. You may get burned. Right. You may burn your house down. So be careful. Let's check in with Angelica now. See what's happening weather-wise. How you doing, Angelica? Good morning, everybody. Really cool stuff here in the, in the studio. We're going to be talking with these guys. Uh, cocktails with flair. And emphasizing the, the flair coming up in just a little bit. All right, we're going to take a look at our weather. Welcome back. They create their cocktails with flair. Rob Turk, Josh <laughs> Golders have been showing off some of their skills for the past hour. That's right. Rob was voted Cleveland's best bartender right here and won 11th place in the world bartending competition. Josh in the white shirt is a Cleveland native who now flair bartends in Key West. Boy, what a tough life. Uh, they're here with mixologist Joe DeLuca to tell us about a great charity event going on at the Barley House next week. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Wow, what a show you guys have put on so far. Thank you. Uh, thank you. That's thank you. And we can't leave out the assistant, Danielle. 
You've done a wonderful <laughs> <Hey Danielle>. job. <laughs> So what, what are we making here? We are making a drink tonight that we're going to make Monday night uh, uh, down at Barley House for a great event. I'm going to let Rob explain what that event is. But the drink itself is called uh, Dr. Funkenstein. Dr. Funkenstein. And uh, we have some fresh herbs today and uh, anise high sop, some mint, Ooh. and some thyme that I picked out of my garden early this morning. Mm -hmm. well, we're going to add a little bit of orange juice for acid, kind of balance it out. We create artisan cocktails just like a chef approaches a dish. Okay. So. There's so how did acid. you become a mixologist? Did you go well, to school for that? No, okay. I, I really, um, 22 years ago, I got started um, at a great place down in Kent when I was in college called Ray's Place. Uh -huh. And um, I fell in love with bartending. And uh, I dedicated my life to it. I dedicated mm -hmm. my life to teaching young bartenders um, how to make a career path with uh, bartending. Really? Huh. So we got some Tawaka, uh, Woodford Reserve, which is one of our sponsors for Monday what evening. A great okay. Mm -hmm. right. A whole egg. Scary yet? Ooh. Oh, really? it gives it a great mouthfeel. It gives it a wonderful texture. Is yeah. that okay? It's to wonderful. Drink? Oh, okay. yes, it's completely safe. Arana. The salmonella is on the outside of it, and okay. we sanitize the outside. Oh, what's that? This is plum bitters okay. uh, from my buddy Joe Fee up in Rochester, New York. Okay. And we are going to. Man, you're mixing that thing up. Shake this up. How often yeah. do you come up with a new drink? Uh, is your I mind to, always working? Up, yeah, I had to come up with three drinks this week alone. What, what uh, for different events and. Um, I'm privileged to work with a lot of nonprofits. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Well, oh, go ahead. Shake, shake that up. <laughs> shake it the way. Woo! Yeah. Uh, so I'm constantly making drinks. I, I have lots of clients. I'm, I'm blessed to work with lots of restaurants mm -hmm. uh, in Northeast Ohio, helping with beverage programs. Wow. Boy, now, that's, something. that's a drink. It's pretty. Yeah. Yeah. A little ginger beer in there for a little bite. Oh, and you'll boy. see it fizz up just nice and pretty. Oh, now, what's the key to being a good bartender? There's a lot of good Imagination, things. Imagination, is that one? No. Nah. Listen, it's about hospitality. Yeah. It's about yeah. really wanting to serve the guests. Yeah. That's the first step. Then you have to have a great work ethic. It's a lot of cleaning that goes on before the shift and after the shift. Yeah. Yeah. And after that, it is about education. Do you know what the difference between bourbon and scotch? Mm -hmm. uh, do you know why gin is different from vodka? Yeah. Let me uh, turn it over to Rob. Though. I really yeah. wanted to talk about this yeah, event. Yeah, talk about the This is great. Okay, well, the event is uh, actually, it's a, it's a service industry uh, themed, Las Vegas themed uh, bartending event. Mm -hmm. But uh, it goes uh, towards my son, Dakota Turek, okay. who at the age of five lost his language due to a seizure disorder in his mm. brain. Okay. So two brain surgery since, he's developed autism also, so he's ongoing therapy. This illness is a struggle he faces every day. Oh. So what we're doing is we're trying to raise a few dollars for his special needs, his camp, that kind of stuff that he needs as we move forward in the therapies. As he's getting older, he may recover from this as he outgrows it when he gets his puberty years. So, That's good stuff. Um, and this fabulous drink that uh, Joe made is going to be available at the event okay. uh, for 15 bucks, and proceeds go to Dakota Turek. And will uh, you guys be performing at the yes, event? Yes, we will. In fact, what we did, we flew in three of the best bartenders in the world from mm -hmm. Las Vegas. They're originally from Ukraine, Uruguay, and Italy. Oh, and they're, how cool. they're working in Vegas, and they're going to come put on a show that's never been seen before wow. in Cleveland. Yeah. It's going to be tremendous. Well, you guys are doing pretty good yourself, man. I've really enjoyed your show this morning. Thank you. Oh, well, where do you see what these guys do? Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. We can't even hold a stick next to them. Wow. Once again, where is it? when's the event again? The event is going to be uh, Monday, June 4th, okay. 7 o'clock. Okay. $30 uh, gets you in, gets you food, Shinto's okay. catering, okay. Uh, Barley House. You get uh, drinks by the sponsors, Jack Daniels and so mm -hmm. forth. Mm -hmm. All that's going to be included from 7 to 9. We're going to have silent and live auctions. And where is it at? Barley House. Barley House. On West Barley 6th Street in the Warehouse right. District. There you what go. a great event. We appreciate you guys wow. coming in. Oh, thanks for Thank having us. Thank you so much. Entertainment. No doubt. Pretty no cool. Doubt. And all of you are great bartenders, no yes. doubt about that. Too. And a great and assistant. Josh, and Josh must say that you're, you're, he's the son of Steve Golders. He's yep. been here for many, many years. That's right. Steve is uh, one of our technicians here at Channel 8. He's, he's wonderful. You ever get to Rick's in the Key West, check yeah. Josh out. Oh, <laughs> we will. We can get there. <laughs> right? Uh, oh, Live show there. That's what I'm talking about. throwing it out there. All right, let's tell things over to Kenny, who's at the East Science Center this morning. How are you? I'm very good, Christy. Hey, 